Welcome to PCB Artist. In this tutorial video we will deal with schematics. This tutorial will follow the example provided in the design tutorial PDF from the help menu. In this tutorial we will build the simple schematic shown on page 13 of the tutorial PDF. The first step is to create a new schematic from the file menu. First we add the resistors. We will use the Add Component tab of the Interaction bar. Change the top drop-down of the Add Component tab to the Discrete Library. Then select the component called R. Click and drag the preview into the schematic to add the part. The part can be dragged from either preview window. A wheel mouse can be very helpful to pan and zoom in the application. Scrolling the wheel forward will zoom in. Scrolling the wheel back will zoom out. The View All icon in the top icon bar will zoom to the absolute extents of the design. Pushing down on the wheel as though it were a mouse button will recenter the current view. We now need to add capacitors to the schematic. The tutorial calls for the C component of the discrete library. Once a component is in the design, it can be copied and pasted. Rather than using the main menu copy and paste, copy and paste can be done with a hotkeys Control c and Control v Now we are ready to add the op-amp from the AD library. The component is AD844AN. Now let's discuss changing component values. The tutorial shows that R1 should have a 1K value. That was the default value so it does not need to have the value edited. R2 should have a value of 11k, so that value must be changed. Select the component, right click and go to Values. In Values, select the value on the left and push the Edit button. Then enter the value in the blank that appears. R3 needs to have a value of 1.6K. Now for the capacitor values. C1 needs a value of 68 nanofarads. Values can also be edited from the Properties dialog. Click on the Values tab and edit the value in the same way as before.
C2 needs to have its value changed to 200 nanofarads. C3 and C4 both need a value of 0.22 microfarads. Since they are both the same, we can edit both at once. Hold down the control key and click on C4 to add it to the selection. Right click and go to properties. Click on the values tab and change the value to 0.22 microfarads. If a component is copied and pasted, the value will be copied and pasted as well. If we copy and paste C4, it will create a C5 with a value of 0.22 microfarads. If we paste again, a C6 will be added with the same value. Using the Control v hotkey is the fastest way to paste. Another method of selection is a window selection. The control key can be pressed and an item clicked to deselect it from a group selection. One of the most effective ways of making selections is with the Interaction Bars Go To tab. Change the top drop down menu to Component. Clicking on a component in the list will select it for editing. Then change the value as we have done previously. Another choice in the Go To menu is to use the Component by Type option. Clicking on the component name will select one example of that part. A right click over that component name in the list will make the Select All Find Items option available. That will choose every part using that component. Notice that the value is listed as different in brackets. This means they do not all have the same value. We will use the undo icon to return them to the values we had previously set. This tutorial is continued on part 3 of the video tutorial series.